Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of the Xiaomi Akara door and window sensor. Then I'll proceed to show you how to pair your sensors with your SmartThings hub. When I was initially setting up these sensors, I was having quite a bit of issues doing so. Due to the way I had my hub set up, I was missing some key elements that prevented this sensors from working. So hopefully following this how-to, you'll be able to get these sensors up and running within a few minutes. So let's get to the unboxing, and after that, I'll go right into the setup. So obviously there won't be much in the box here, um, but we do have instructions that unfortunately we won't be able to use because it's all in Chinese. <laughs> and here we have the sensor and the magnet. Obviously the small one's magnet and the big one is the sensor itself. So in the box you'll get two additional um, stickers. These will be used if I guess the ones that are on it currently uh, don't stick anymore when you're removing it. It's just a replacement option. On the bottom here, you'll find the reset button as well as the pairing button. You just need to press that down and it'll begin the pairing process. And here you see the little groove. That is gonna be where you take it apart to replace the battery. So now that the unboxing is done, we'll go right into the setup. Okay, so to begin the setup process for the contact sensors, you're gonna to wanna to log into your SmartThings IDE. And once you're in there, you're gonna go over here to the left and you're gonna choose My Locations. Then you'll go to where your hub is. So mine says Home, I'm gonna click on that. And over here, as you can see, mine has the coordinates, time zone, weather, temperature. If you don't have this time zone here, you're gonna run into some issues where where your sensors won't actually report the opening and closing because it'll start erroring out and it's all based on this time zone setting. So if you don't have this in here, you're gonna run into issues. If you do have it in here, you should be fine. Um, if you just look over here to the right, I'm gonna show you how you could go about fixing this and getting this time zone to appear correctly. Okay, first of all, open up your SmartThings app. And then once it's open, you'll go to the top left and hit the pancake which will then present you with some more options. From there, you'll hit the gear button on the right-hand side. And you'll click on the little map at the bottom. Once you do that, you'll be presented either with your geolocation on the top right-hand corner. You'll just press that and it will map out where you are. Just press on the screen and hit save. And then hit save once again on the top right-hand side and this will save your coordinates, updating your time zone. Now that we fixed the time zone, we're gonna go right into adding the device handler. So now to get vSpringer's repository added, all you need to do is go over to settings and you'll wanna hit add new repository. And then you'll just wanna add for the owner vSpringer and the name Xiaomi and the branch master and then hit save. Okay, now this is the part where we're gonna add a device handler to SmartThings. So we're gonna hit update from repo and then we're gonna go to Xiaomi master. And over here where it says new only in GitHub, we're gonna look for our door sensor. So it's the very first option here, Xiaomi door sensor. And we're just gonna hit we're gonna put a check mark on publish and we're gonna do execute update. And now we can see here that it says Xiaomi door and window sensor. Now we're gonna grab our door sensors, move closer to the hub, and then we're gonna put our SmartThings app in the pairing process and get this thing hooked up. First, we're gonna start by resetting the unit just by holding down the reset button at the bottom. And as you can see, the buttons will flash, just let go and you're done. Now open up the SmartThings app and click on add a thing. And this will begin the pairing process. Then on your contact sensor, just keep on hitting the reset button until it finds a device. Now that it's found your sensor, just click on rename thing and give it whatever name you like. So 
So this is where I'm gonna end the video off today. Hopefully this helps you sh set up your door sensors. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.